So let's talk twisting during pregnancy. And I'm not talking gentle thoracic twists here or thoracic mobility exercises like a foam roll archer, wall supported thoracic rotation or kneeling thoracic rotation here. These are all fantastic exercises that I program for pregnant women. But the important thing to note here is they are always done in conjunction with correct breathing to make sure that you're maintaining neutral intra-abdominal pressure. What I'm talking about here is deep twisting movements or training the rotational pattern. And that's with things like, you know, like Russian twists or plank position rotations like Spider-Man's or knee to opposite elbow, no torsionator rotational exercises, no seated twisting exercises. And I personally tend to stay away from, and dare I say it, <laughs> exercises that involve lunging with rotations. Sure, mums might do this type of movement in their everyday life, but my personal thoughts on this is we want to train them to maintain their strength when these positions show up so that they don't get injured. And you don't actually need to train them to do them, right? You do, however, need to understand that the function of the core, which is to transfer force from your upper and lower limbs, protect your spine and your internal organs. And when I say protect your spine, I'm talking about not letting it go into excessive ranges of motion that could potentially damage it or injure it, right? Injure yourself, injure your spine. So when it comes to twisting or what I like to call rotation, you need to understand that the muscles responsible for rotation are your internal and your external obliques, right? So both of them are joined in the middle to your linear alba, same as your rectus abdominis. And remembering the linear alba is the band of fascia that separates during pregnancy. So another important point here when it comes to our internal and external obliques is that they work contralaterally, right? So as one contracts, the other one relaxes and that's throughout that twisting movement, right? Or exercises. And it's this contracting and relaxing that puts pressure on the linear alba, which can exasperate abdominal separation, which is one of the main reasons why I personally personally don't program rotational exercises during pregnancy. And from my perspective, you actually want to be working in a way that's aligned to what your core is designed for. And research has shown or has found that the natural role of our core is actually to resist movement, not create it. So the core in essence is an anti-rotation, anti-extension and anti-lateral flexion, which is kind of like a side bend, right? And as the name implies, anti-rotational movement focus on preventing rotation at the hips and spine while allowing the limbs to move. And in my eyes, to truly maintain connection to your core during pregnancy, we must not only focus on these types of movements, but actually increase your strength in them. And this helps create strength to withstand any excessive movements that you may go into that could injure you. And when your core functions correctly in, in this manner, right, it minimizes the actual risk of injury in the pregnant population. And it relates to minimizing abdominal separation as well. And it also decreases wear and tear on your joints, particularly in your hips and lower back, both of which are big pain points during pregnancy. And along with that, instability in the core can also result in poor movement patterns patterns both up and down the body, right? And this leads to issues in things like your knees, your ankles, your shoulders, your elbows, and all of these things, well, except maybe the elbows, but a lot of them are common complaints in pregnancy. And you also need to remember that your spine is already more mobile and less stable than usual due to the changes in your abdominals and your hormones, right? Which is another factor that we need to consider when training during pregnancy. 
pregnancy. Then of course, you can't forget intra-abdominal pressure and its role in all of this. So it's for these particular reasons that you will see me work in the kind of anti-rotation space during pregnancy, as opposed to actually programming twists and rotational exercises. So that's it from me today. I hope that this video helped and I will see you in the next one.